Welcome back everybody to another video today. We're going to be looking at fixing uh, Cessna 172 prop mod. We're coming to you today from beautiful Key West in Key West, Florida. And we are sitting out here at Key West International Airport, I believe, or just whatever Key West Airport. And what I'm going to be looking at today is the white that you get from using the default prop. So on the inside of the default prop, when the prop's visual, you can see it's down here in the corner. When the prop is visual, you do see, let's get some, there we go. So you can see the prop like it is in normal life. However, in this particular model, the default Cessna 172 model, what happens is when it's started, you have a white background that you can see your cockpit. During the day, it's, it's pretty prevalent. At night, it's extremely prevalent. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna mean here. So, so as you can see, we have the white that is visible on the prop right here. In real life, this is pretty much zero. There's nothing there whatsoever. Now, if I can move my mixture up and down just a little bit here to shut it down, you can see you've got some little bit of movement there that you can see. And we shut it, we killed it. So let's start it back up. Now, if we come out to the outside view, it's pretty prevalent. That prop is pretty prevalent. Now, on the outside of the plane, you do have that white marking that is on the prop so that is a little bit more realistic there but it is still a little bit um, dramatic and then let's take a look at it at night and you can see at night you can see it there as well and then if I was to slow it down just a tiny bit you can see and at nighttime it's really prevalent on the outside as well there and then when you're trying to fly at night sometimes this gets so bright it's just really really hard to see so what I've done is I have modified this file so it reduces the amount that you see both at night and during the daytime. So let's go ahead and take a look at that modified file. Let's turn this off. Alright, to be able to edit this file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my aircraft folder under my X-Plane directory. I name my X-Plane directory this folder is Vulcan. So I'm going to come under aircraft, I'm going to look for laminar research, I'm going to look for the Cessna 172, and then I'm going to look for this file right here that says Cessna underscore 172 prop disk dot PNG. Now if I double click on that, you're going to be able to see the um, default prop um, files, the way that they're going to look when the plane is in various stages of start. The third one over is what it's going to be look, looks like when it's completely started. Now the one that I edited is this one right here. I just named it 10% because I only have 10% of the props um, visual. Now it might be hard for you to see. Let me see if I can zoom in on that at all. But you can see there's a little bit of the props there. And then there I have another one that's all edited. And this one you can barely see except for this one over here. I left that one. So what I'm going to do is be able to get this prop in there for the 10% one because I think that one looks the best. I'm going to come down and I'm going to rename this one here. And I'm going to call it old for the extension. So after the period is where I'm going to name that. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to rename this 10% one just to what the default one is right here. And then I'm going to reload my aircraft and X-Plane and then what that's going to allow me to do, let's get X-Plane back in here. There we go. So then what it's going to allow me to do is see what the, the um, prop looks like when it's edited. So I'm going to come back once this is reloaded and we'll go from there. Now look at that. You can barely see the prop because now it's 10%. You can see it just a tiny bit there, but not as much as what it was before. Now, you can take the other file that's included in the download and make it completely zero if you want to. And I can show you that as well. So on the outside, see on the outside? You can barely see it. So let's take a look. 
what happens when we switch to night. So we're going to leave that. We're going to come up here, go to flight configuration. Just move this to night and just let this seamlessly fall right into place. Now look, your prop is barely visible at nighttime. Okay, so we're going to take a look to see what the prop looks like when it's completely zeroed out. So you can see it's kind of sitting over there a little bit. There it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this started with zero prop visibility and see how that looks. Okay, zero prop visibility. You can see there is nothing there on the outside or the inside. I don't see it at all. Even when I start to slow the prop down, only then is when you can see it. So if this is the type of visibility that you want, what you want to do is you want to take that file that's named 0 Cessna underscore 172 SP underscore prop underscore disk underscore 2 and use that one as your file that you want to use. And then you would just rename that one to the .png. So you have two types of top props. You got the 10% prop. And you have the zero prop. And of course you have the default prop. Okay, so I made a little bit of a change. So there are three files that you have to choose from. The 10%, which is what I showed you in the video. The all zero, which I also showed you in the video. And then this one here, all edited 10 side normal. And what that's going to do is going to give you 10% for the ones going across. And then the side one is completely kept normal. Then, whichever one you want to have as your new prop, you will just right click on this, come down here to rename. Let me see. Let me bring that up here for you. There we go. So I'm going to right click, come down to rename, and then just remove what's in front of the Cessna underscore 172. Make sure that you have your other uh, Cessna 172, the default one, the one that comes with it, the one that's not modified, this one here. Well, it doesn't know how to open it. So make sure you have that one underscore dot OLD. So when you rename this one, you won't have any problems. So I'm going to rename this one back what I like. I'm going to keep the Cessna 172. And this is my 10% one here and I can double click it and see it all the way across. So it's 10% all the way across and then when I start in X-Plane it'll be there the way I like it. Alright, well I hope this video helped you out. I hope you learned how to change your prop out by making a few edits to the files. It's nothing that difficult, nothing that anybody can't do. Just follow the steps in there. Just whatever you do, just make sure you always do a backup of the default file. That way if you ever make a mistake or something happens, you're able to change that out and get it fixed. So if you have any comments for me, please uh, include them down below. Let me know if this helped you out or not. And let me know if there's any other videos you want to see that we can do to edit and so forth. I appreciate your time watching this. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below for me. It does support the channel. And see you guys on the next video.